Let's meet the families who are taking on the feud. It's Steezy versus Dave and Jen. And here's our first family. Woo, I can see the dollar signs in their eyes already. They're wearing bunny ears and cat sweaters. So you're gonna go it alone. Getting mixed messages here. Burn it to the ground. Welcome back. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you for the good luck message. We've got two families going we're gonna have fun tonight. Other, trying to guess the answers to our surveys. Try to score as much as you can now. Because whoever does best gets the advantage of going first in our final round, Fast Money, where the winner could take home a huge prize. A huge prize, and for still not a car yet. Still couldn't figure out how to win a car. We're gonna start with the face-off. All right, people, get up here and do your families proud. Top four answers up on the board. Top four answers. Let's see what the Alrighty first question then. is. Buzz in first to get a shot at the top answer. Let's go. We conducted a survey of 100 people for this question. Lucky McCoy, Name don't even need show. Oh, never mind. He has a, a show card. Cowboy might play around the. Go for it. I was waiting for Lucky McCoy to finish reading the question. I forgot. Like when I play, whenever I play online, I have to sure buzz in that? before he finished reading it. Because the question will finish popping up before he can finish reading Guitar. it. Guitar. has got to be number one. Come on. Answer number one. So what do you say? Guitar answer was going to be my answer. I do not have any other answers. That's uh, w that's worrying me. Obviously, oh, oh, piano right. is not one. Of, uh, it's not. It's not a thing. Um, a cello. It's your go. What do you think? A ukulele. Ukulele. I'm not entirely sure how to say that word, actually. Name an uh, musical instrument a cowboy might play around a campfire. A guitar. I mean, it's gotta be something like... Oh, a harmonica. I think harmonica might be up there. Pretty confident with harmonica. I'm gonna stick with harmonica. I really hope the other team does not take harmonica. A flute? Is it on the board? It might be. It might be one of the lower ones. No. Ouch! Sorry, you've earned yourself a strike. Oops. She said, "Oops." Have you <laughs> for thought? Huh? Harmonica or ukulele? Says Justin Baca. Oh, banjo is a great one, dude. Yeah. We're into the ground. Says banjo. Go. That's great, because harmonica, they took harmonica. So I'm going to take banjo instead. Harmonica. Your cool lily is a bit too islandy, you know? I don't think a cowboy would do that. Yes. Doesn't work out since harmonica Give is a little an more yeehaw. <laughs> oh, I really hope they don't, they're not, they're, they're not taking banjo. They got two more strikes. They might take banjo. Understood. They are taking banjo. Dang it. Let's hope so. Banjo. Yeah. You almost cleared the board. We gotta get the least popular answer on the board, which is so tough. Name a musical instrument a cowboy might play around the campfire. Less than five people answered this question. A drum? Like a mouth drum, like a like a timpani drum. I said timpani drum. I don't even know what a timpani drum is. I was thinking ukulele. I mean, that's that's the only that's the only answer that I'm thinking about now. The only possible answer. Oh, it's another strike. One more strike. What's your answer? Yeah. Let's see, what do cowboys play around the campfire? Harmonica, banjo, guitar, all great answers. Yeah. 
Now what do we got? A fiddle? A fiddle? That's not an instrument. What are you talking about? Violin. That's the final answer. Yeah. Okay. I can see how family we just gave fiddle into violin. I get that. But holy shit! A clean sweep. Hey, good job, Steezy team. If you're watching this on YouTube, you just watch um, the past just 10 minutes just, just watching so <laughs> the team play. Sorry. Oh, 97, a clean sweep. That's A clean sweep on Family Food is really, really hard to get. get so props are them. Stop it with the puns, Lucky McCoy. Lucky McCoy with the puns. The top six answers to this question are up on the board. Buzz in first to answer. Get ready. We asked 100 people this question. Name someone who sends you on a guilt trip. That was fast. Oh no, I answer. buzzed in, but I don't really know what an answer to this. Name someone who sends you on a guilt trip. A parent. Like parents? Good answer. Said with confidence. Let's check the board. I don't know if that says name. a lot about me and my parents or research trip. <laughs> I'm glad. Okay, I'm glad that's number one. Holy shit. Woo. Or pass and force the other family to play. Um, I'm gonna play because. You want they frequently like clean yourself, sweep last huh? round. I'm not gonna. I'm not giving them a chance to do that this round. Do you have an answer for us? How about I um, your romantic partner? Right. Okie dokie. Is that answer good enough? Partner. It's coming number two. Come on, there we go. Very nice. Yes. Um, we need another answer. I want to say teacher, maybe. Let's go with teacher. Teacher. Interesting answer. Oh, the audience doesn't like that. The Our audience doesn't like that. Teacher. No. You failed to find an answer, which means you get uh -oh. your first strike of the round. Uh oh. Oops. Name someone who what sends you, you on a guilt trip. Uh... How about a friend? Oh, what? We have an answer. Let's see what the I pressed the wrong button. Says. Dang it. Another strike. I obviously did not want to. <laughs> I, did, I definitely did not want to guess answer. Frozen. But Justin Bucca love frozen gold trips. Uh, Bernard the Grand says your kid. Justin Bucca says boss. Oh, boss is a great answer. Let's go with boss. Yeah. Boss. That's what you're going with. Do we have it? Boss. Let's see, boss. No, really. That's three. Oh. -ho. Our other family has a chance to steal. I wonder if I should have gotten with, uh, got gone with friends, because if they take friends, it it's up there. Right and that's gonna be annoying. Name someone who sends you on a guilt trip. Grandparents. See where you're going with this. That kind of crossed my mind a bit, but I was thinking about friends, and then you guys board. said boss and kid. Much better answer than grandparents sending. Oh, come on. Done it. Woo, not a great start for tonight, huh? Not a great, great start. We've got some answers to go through. The sixth answer. Sibling. Sibling. Of course, Number that's five. right. What are you? Friend? In-laws. In-laws. <clears throat> Want to see number three? I sure do. Kids. kids, burn it to the ground. Oh my god, should have gone with you, kids, for 11 points. Third most popular answer. One That's horrible if your kid sends you on a guilt trip. It's kind of horrible, isn't it? Oh, no. 
It's time for another face-off. Who's going to join me up here? I need someone from each family. There are four answers you need to find. Four answers. Ooh, things are heating up. Points are doubled now. It's our chance to catch up. We took a survey. 100 people. Name a place you don't like to go because it might be painful. You got in first. A hospital? Hospital appointment. Yeah. Yes. The Lucky McCoy said. likes this answer. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's high. We've got a top answer. Oof. Are you going to play or are you going to pass? Um, I don't want to pass because I don't think I can steal, you so I'm going to play. Name a place you don't but like to go because it might be painful. Other than medical appointment, what else could that be? Now, they do say medical appointment, and it's not like hospital, though. So it could be like urgent care. Nope, nothing. How about a uh, um, um, chiropractor? Oh, no, I'm spelling it wrong. Chiropractor. Okay, sure. Let's see if that's a good answer. I think that's a very LA answer. Yeah. It's not. There. I don't think most of America goes to chiropractor. Uh oh. How about a um? What answer do you have for us this time? Um. What if it's not like physical painful? What if it's like a um, a mental pain? You know, more like a church. You know, because you gotta confess your sins. Maybe. That's your answer. Our survey said church. Oh, we're in the points. Okay, so they do say funeral, which is like an emotional pain. So Name emotional pain. Like to go because it might be painful. Emotional pain has got to be number two and three. Burn it to the ground with the in-laws. That is actually a good answer, burn it. Do I want... I mean... Justin Bacchus is therapist. In-laws is a good answer. It's also a funny answer. So maybe let's go with therapist then, yeah? Go to the pass. Okay. <laughs> oh, Isn't that's there? a good answer. The pass was actually a good answer option. Maybe Start I should have gone with that. Okay, people. Let's be careful here. You can therapist is not up there. Aww. Let's take our time here. There's just two answers up there. Name a place you don't like to go because it might be painful. What about school? What about like university or something like that, alright? I'm still leaning towards in-laws. Gym. Oh fuck, the gym is a good answer. I think gym might be up there. You're right, Justin. I think gym is up there. Yes! I'll take you, you, you shouldn't go to the gym to now. feel pain. Nah, -uh. you're working out wrong if that's only one happening. Answer remaining. Oh? One answer remaining. Name a place you don't like to go because it might be too painful. Um, In-laws, gym. Oy, oy, oy. Um, I mean, we just did gym. So we got in-laws and uh What a work. What a workplace. Work. Alright, let's try. Cross it. your fingers. Our survey says work. Yes! Yes! Oh, I'm giving myself a winner train for that. Yes! Oh yes! Here's how things are shaping up. Sure. So We've got ourselves. Oh, it's a tight leader. game, yo. It's a tight game. Oh, no. Ooh, a clean sweep.
clean sweep. Let's get things going with the face off. Can I have someone from each family join me, please? The top four answers are on the board. All right, now, it's still anyone's game because for this question, the point values are triple. This just makes me miss In our survey, the time that I hosted Family Feud for the society. Name something you shouldn't pick at when you're at the dinner table. You're in first. Your what nose! You they buzzed in first, though. But other than your nose, what could that... Oh, Good. food. Okay. Really? Survey says... Food. I thought Nos was the only answer out there, and well, I was like, I don't know what time, else could be up there. Uh -huh. We need another answer from you. I mean, it's gonna be Nos, right? <laughs> don't pick your open wound, Justin Baca. That's just gross. Oh, nice. Nos, okay, there man. we go. Is it up there? Show me. Nos. It's gotta be number one. Thank you. That, my friend, is the top answer. It also brings it up to the point where whoever takes this will will win the game. So I'm gonna play. Now you run a roll. Let's play this thing. You know, instead of open wound, Justin Buck, I'm gonna go with something similar, disgusting. How about a scab? You're not supposed to be picking at your scab. That's just gross. That's good. That's just gross. Show me that answer. Scab. Yes. Look at that beautiful board. Almost full. Beautiful, beautiful board. Hey. Let's hope you haven't run out of ideas yet. So... Now, what is the last thing? Pick, um, name something you shouldn't pick at when you're at the dinner table. Like, I'm thinking, like, a formal, like, dinner table, like, a formal restaurant and stuff, right? So, like, maybe you shouldn't pick, like, at the check, maybe? Ah! Uh, yes. Not Che. Don't pick at Che. I don't think the check is up there. I just, I just couldn't think of anything, honestly. Got three good answers on the board. Name something you shouldn't pick at when you're at the dinner table. Never pick at Michael Shea at the dinner table. No, no, definitely don't don't do that. Um, do honestly like his utensils maybe? Uterus. No. Don't pick, don't, don't pick at the uterus either. Um, how about a fork? A fork. Oh, and fingernails. Fingernails is good. Four. What well, instead of fingernails? How about hair? Do people pick at their hair? Oh, no. Some people just pull their hair, right? In case of like gray an hair or anything like that. Uh -huh. Fingernails. Or hair. Fingernails is good. Hair is just as disgusting. Let's try with fingernail and see if it... Well, yeah. Maybe it is. Sure thing. Uh-oh. Lucky McCoy doesn't read it. Fingernail. Maybe it is? Ooh, so close. And that's your third strike. It's time for the other team. Now, my other guess would have been hair. If you want to steal this round, you a need sad to face from Burn It to the Ground. It's okay, Burn It to the Ground. I don't think they can get this Name one. Something I'm not this hair up there. When you're at the dinner table. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh no! Yep. Oh no! Let's see if it's there. Are they watching the stream? 
I'm so glad it's not up That's there. Not the one. I'm so glad it does. It's not up there. Oh my god. Phew. You're on a roll, my friends. That's two rounds in a row. There's only one answer left to show. Ooh, Stingerhorn. Hello, welcome. Stingerhorn says teeth. teeth. It is teeth. Of course, stock food. You shouldn't pick on that, dude. Stingerhorn. First of all, welcome. And look at that. Look at that, you got the, the you got the yeah, final answer, so congrats for really doing that. But we won anyway, so we're getting to the fast money round first. Fast money. Since you have fewer points, you'll still be playing fast money, but you'll be going second. It's fast money for the big dough in fast money. The captains from each team are going to play. Okay, buddy, you'll get to answer our five survey questions first. We all Try know how fast money works. answers because when you're done, your opponent gets a turn. Whoever scores the most points in this round wins the game. All righty, Lucky McCoy Start likes to smile a lot. Name an animal whose belly looks a lot like yours. I mean, um, not true of mine, but panda? Let's say panda? Name something you like to have within reach while you're driving your car. Your phone? Although that might be the illegal Tell answer, but I think that might be the most popular answer. In a, saloon fight. A, a beer bottle. Name something a new mother gets to do when her baby is finally asleep. Sleep? <laughs> Name the occupation of someone you make an appointment to see. When oh, you a need doc. to get something off your chest. Oh. Uh, a therapist. That's all five. There we go. Okay. I almost answered doctor now before he can finish the answer. Take a crack at it. You're up next, and things are a bit more challenging now. You've got to answer the same questions, but you can't say anything that's already been said. If you do repeat an answer, I'll ask you for another. Let's start the clock. Name an animal whose belly looks a lot like yours. Pig is probably the top answer, right? Name something you like to have. Grizzly bear, huh? While you're driving your car. Tell me something a cowboy... A drink is a good answer. ...in a saloon fight. Name something a new guns. mother gets to do when her... You don't get hit with guns. You, you shoot people with guns. Another answer. Nope. Already answered. Relax or sleep. Watch TV. Take a shower. A lot of answers here. Something different? Oh, uh, good. She's wasting her time on this one question. She could pass. She can pass to the next question. I don't know if she. Oh, she's passing. Here we go. To see when you need to get something off your chest. I think other than therapist, I think like a pastor or like a father, Name you know. Something a new mother gets oh, to doctor. Do. There we go. That's time. <laughs> if you literally need to get That's something off your chest, like something you stuck get. on your chest, well you probably want to go see a doctor. All right. It's time to see how things turned out for y'all. Let's see. For our first question, we asked... Name an animal whose belly looks a lot like yours. What were your answers? Let's see what our survey said. Now both are bears. On the upside, one of those answers was mm. good. Mm. Pig. Bit unfair, isn't it? I that said it. I said it. Pig answer. was the top answer. Here's our Thought of it afterwards, question. though. We asked 100 people, name something you like to have within reach while you're driving your car. Your answers were 
Two impressive answers here. Is it? Oh, top answer. Ooh, oh, drink there. was the top answer. For the next survey nice. question, we asked. Tell me something a cowboy might get hit with in a saloon fight. You said. What did the survey say? Come on, it's gonna be bottle. There we, we go. Top answer. Nobody hits people with guns. For you shoot people four. with guns. Name something a new mother gets to do when her baby is finally asleep. This has to be the top this answer, too. You answered. Here's an answer Sleep. you missed. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I like that. Here's your last question. Name the occupation of someone you make an appointment to see when you need to get something off your chest. So you said... Therapist and doctor, and very time. similar. Now, yes! Call a win. Three top answers. Winner trade! Winner trade! ...and add that to the other rounds. Then we'll multiply it by 10 and give you that much money. Woo! Bring it to the ground, conducted the winner train. What? I want to thank, for coming on family thank you so much for that. Bring it to the ground. Time, save your feud. Just be loving. Save the feud and just be loving. Want to give it All right. another go? Are we gonna give it a go, Steezy family? I'll rematch if you rematch. Nope. Okay. We're not rematching with the Steezy family. That's okay. We're gonna continue on. Playing with the next family, then. Choo-choo, indeed. We got one out of one game tonight. Feel good. Feel good about it. Feel good. We're playing against Jeremy. Is this Jeremy Dooley? And Cat Dooley? Are we playing against the Dooleys here? I don't think we are. But hey, two out of two games matchmaking successfully? This has been a good night. Are you ready for Family Feud? <laughs> I'm your host. Weber, Weber, Weber. Oh, Weber redeemed the sat trombone. Guess what? We've got Thank you so much for that, Weber. Ready to play. Appreciate that. <laughs> Standing alone today. What? What? And here are their rivals with nerves of steel. And yes, welcome back, Weber. Welcome back. Okay. We've got two Second game of the night, so you you know, it's got plenty of game left tonight. Try to score as much as you can now, because whoever does best gets the advantage of going first in our final round, Fast Money, where the winner could take home a huge Fast prize. Fast Money. Okay, let's play Family Feud. It's time to face the first question in the face-off. I need a contestant from each family, please. <laughs> Top four answers up on the board. Fingers on buzzers. Here we go. My finger on the buzzer. We asked a hundred people the following. Name something people compete with each other for. Go for it. Oh, that's a weird question to end on. Name something people compete with each other for. My first instinct was love, right? Because The cute. Bachelor. Time to check the board. No. Nobody said that. Say he's thinking a bit on a basic level. We need to go more us? than basic. We need to think about love, money, success, all of that sort. Nice. Love. That's your answer. Show me the answer. The Survey says... Number two, right. huh? The answer is on the board. 
Is it your time to play or pass? You know what? I watch a lot of game shows. I watch a I lot of yeah, all the competition one. shows. I think I know all four answers. We got love. We got money. We got fame. You can do it. What do you? And think? I think I said something else, but I I can't remember what that fourth one is. So money. I think money is number one. Got it. And what did our survey say? Money. Money. You found the top answer. Boom. I can't believe it. I can't what believe that I found the top answer. <laughs> oh, so dramatic. Um, I think fame. Fame is number three. All right. All right. Our survey says fame. No, no fame, huh? Okay. You hear that noise? That's what do people spike. compete for? Money? Love? The trophy is not up All there, right, which is surprising. Well. There's only two answers uh... left. How about medals? Like, as in, like, the Olympics, right? Medals. Well, it's not even suggested, so I'm not gonna answer that. Name something people compete with each other for. Like, fr like, like being first, being first, that can't be an, an answer. How about just being, All just being, because right, I don't have time to write out being first Is anyways. That one of the ones we're still looking for? No. Oh, Name something that people co compete with each other for. What? What else? Money, love. Name something people compete with each other for. Uh. How how would just like first place in general? First place. <laughs> I mean it's not suggested, but uh How about that? First place. Yeah. Understood. I don't think it is. I don't Time think it's out there. Out it's up there. No, yeah. That's right, oh, Bernie no. to ground. We're playing against Jeremy. The Jeremy Looks family. Like family has a chance to steal. I don't think it's that Jeremy, dude. I don't think these are the duelies, I don't think. Although, what are chances if they are the now, duelies, the right? Family only need to well. find one answer, and they can take this round. Dig deep. Give me a correct answer, and you snatch these points from the other team. Name something. People compete with each other for. I generally don't have any other answers. Job! Oh my with. god, that's a good answer. That is Could a good answer. Let's yep. find out. Job. Yeah, wow. That's what we want. That is a good answer. I didn't think about that. Well done, Jeremy. Well done, Jeremy. This round. There's only one answer left to show. Reveal number four. Number four. Attention. Oh. Let's find out who's in charge. Attention. I mean, you know, fame. Right, I feel like my fame answer should have been kind of. Let's see what awaits us next. Also, euphemism for attention. You know, all about the same. Hey, speaking of fame and attention, you can you guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram right there. A little shameless shameless plug time right there. Join me up here. I need someone from each family. All right, here we go, round two. We've got five answers up for grabs. Five answers. Buzz in first to answer. Get ready. We got 100 people to answer the following question. What monster scares you the most? You've got some quick reactions, my friend. What, what do you the, think? These questions are not fun. I mean, it is close to Halloween, though, so it is kind of fun. But there's so many, like, monsters out there. You know, the first thing that comes to my mind is Ghost. But I don't think Ghost it is technically classified as a monster, so... I don't know. I don't know about that. Bigfoot? We go, then. No, Bigfoot is so friendly. What are you talking about? Bigfoot. 
Zilch. Zilch. You've got this. 100%. So when we're talking about a monster, we're thinking about like the classic universal monster, right? Sort of Dracula, Frankenstein, and whatnot. Let's go with Frankenstein monster right now. Good. Freddy Krueger okay. is also um Did was suggested though, and I think that was this. a good answer. Frankenstein's monster. Woohoo! That's on the board. Such a long answer that they have to divide it into two lines. Let's play. You're gonna come out swinging to win this round. Got another answer? How about a, uh, how about Freddy Krueger? You know, it's one of the suggested answers. Let's go for it. Interesting answer. Is it there? Freddy Krueger. Number five. Nice job, but it's not the number one answer. How about a, um, you know, going back to the Universal Let's Monsters, how about Dracula? Ideas, yeah. Dracula is one of the classic one. And then we also we got, like, what, the answer. thing from the Black Lagoon or something like that? that be one of the I think that's answers. way too specific. I don't think that's going to be up on the board. Dracula. Vampire! Answer, ha 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 ha. How about a mummy? Scares you the most. A mummy, please. Cause that mummy isn't my mummy. Right. Scares right. me. Let's I want my mummy. Is that one of the remaining answers? Mummy. No. It isn't there. First strike. But you've still got you know, again, going back to Universal Studios, which is, this is down the street from me, I, where I live. There's How about Jaws? Still up there. What do you got? Jaws. Jaws is a monster, right? It's technically like uh, Bruce is the name of the think, shark. Huh? Is it up there? Let's hope so. Jaws. Nope. Hmm. Ouch. Another strike. Oh. So when I was typing up Jaws there, uh, uh, one of the answers strikes. that pop up as a suggestion was Jason Voorhees. So let's go with that, Jason Voorhees. Yeah. And after oh, that, we can okay. go with Michael Myers. His Only new movie is out in theaters left. this Have week. Found one of them? Halloween Kills. Jason Voorhees. Number three. You live to feud another day. I might clean sweep For this. <laughs> I might I might be able to clean sweep this. Who knows? What monster scares you the most? Uh-huh. How about Michael Myers? Not to be confused with a Oh behave guy. That's Mike Myers. Michelle Obama, Michael Jackson, excuse me. None of those people, please. Michael Myers. Yep. Let's see if it's there. <laughs> Lucky McCoy says yup, which doesn't really give me a lot of confidence, but no, 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 no. Third strike. How about alien? This is alien one of the monsters? To the other side. One answer will do it, and they can steal the round. Is it there? If it is, you've scored a steal. If not, the points go straight over to the other side. Let's see what which monster is the Jeremy family gonna go for? King Kong. Confidence. Our survey says. Yeah. Okay. King Kong. I can see that. Yeah. No. King Kong is a bit more cute, isn't it? Godzilla, though. Godzilla is scary. Especially if you guys watch Shin Godzilla, which is a Japanese movie. Oh my god, that Godzilla is so scary. Number four, show yourself. Werewolf. werewolf. See, that's unfair because the last time we had a werewolf on screen was with the Twilight movies, and those were not scary. not the time to get cocky. We've still got a Fifty-six to fifty-five, a one-point different diff differential. Now, let's do the face-off. 
Okay, I need someone from each family to join me up front. I don't know if he was so excited to see me or he doesn't want to see me. I don't know what his reaction was. Whoa, things are getting hot in here because the points in this round are doubled. Whoa. We took a survey. 100 people. Name a type of pain in your life. Fast fingers. Oh, 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 oh. Confident? Name a type of pain in your life. Well, that what? That is a lot. That, that I feel like there's a whole second half of the question that... I don't know where this question is going towards. He definitely had buzzed in way too soon. Name a type of pain in your life. If that was the question, I would guess heartbreak. But I don't know what the second half of it is. Back pain. Sure thing. Let's check the board. Back pain. Wow. That's correct. Good for him. Capital K, which means it's there. But there's still a better one. Good for him for getting an answer on the board before the question even finished. To be found. Name a type of pain in your life that you want a quick relief from. I think heartbreak is still a number one answer, so let's go with that. Heartbreak Hotel? Is heartbreak a pain, though? I think they're talking about physical pain, huh? Yeah, okay, how about let's just do headache then. Just because heartbreak was not one of the suggested answer, I don't want to go for it. There we go. The most popular answer. If this was real family food, I would definitely have gone for heartbreak for the first question. I hope and then Steve Harvey will be like, We're playing. heartbreak. And then he's going to look at the camera for like a couple minutes thinking it was a dumb answer. And then he'll look at the board and it an says survey says you? and a heartbreak is the number one. And he'll be like I'm doing another face again for another two minutes. And that's today's family feed, y'all. Um, how about a stomach ache? Okie dokie. Our survey said stomach ache. Ah. Correct answer. Yay! A migraine is Did painful, but I think a migraine answer. and a headache uh -huh. is is kind of like similar, right? So I don't think I can do migraine. Um, constipation. Nope, nothing there. Well, one of the other suggested answer. Yeah, there we go. I was gonna go for heartburn. So one of the other suggested answers there. Let's run with it. Heartburn. Number two, you know a lot what? of people get heartburn in this country. Ooh. Name a type of pain in your life huh. that you want a quick relief from. How about like asthma? I don't know how to spell asthma. I think that's it, but um, it's not suggested, so I'm not going to go for it. How about cough? How about a flu? How about a flu? So many types of flu. By the way, get your flu shots already, guys, because winter is coming. And a flu shot is out for this year, so go for it. Go get it. Well done. Cold and flu, cold and flu, yeah. Time to search your mind for an answer. Do you have a type of pain in your life that you want a quick relief form? Justin Baca says burn. Burn is great. Um, burn is great because it takes a long time to heal from a like a burn. It's different than heartburn, though. No. You failed to find an answer, which means you get your first strike of the round. How about like a um a muscle ache? Guess what? We need an answer. Yeah, like that's a bit too generic, right? Because they have like back pain up there. How about like a uh, stiff nose? Wait, did I say stiff nose? No, stiff, uh, stiff neck. That's what I meant to say. Neck. Uh, it's not suggested though, so... 
Not gonna go for it. Uh, congested nose? Congestion? Not conga. Lee's not conga. I I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't. I ran out of time. You don't even want to take Headache, a guess heartburn. At it? All right. Hmm. Hmm. Name a type of pain in your life that you want a quick relief from. How about a um? How about a foot pain? Because we got a back pain and we got a foot pain, right? I just ran out of ideas. That's why it is, these answers are a bit dumb. Because I ran out of ideas for this question. Okay. Could it be there? I don't think it's up there. No, yeah. Three strikes. Yeah. We're throwing out a lifeline to the other family. To steal the points, all they've got to do is find one right answer. Give me an answer, and if you're right, you get all the points. Give me a wrong one, and, uh, well, you know. We know. We know, Lucky McCoy. We know. Let's see. I'm curious what the Jeremy family is going to answer, because I, 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 you know, heartbreak is a good answer. It's not one of the suggested answer. Which means I don't think it's a, it is up on the board. What like what kind of pills do people take that like take for pains where? Back pain, neck pain, stomach ache, okay, then. a muscle pain. Let's see if it's up there. Is it? No, yeah, that's way too generic, because back pain it. is up there. You're so far ahead that I can barely see you guys. Aw, thank you, Lucky McCoy. So what did we miss this time? What was hiding behind six? Debt. <laughs> Let's see what's behind number three. Oh, no. Toothache. Toothache, I get it. Depth is a Before way out on, there answer, dude. To see the All the rest are like health pain and what pain, that and you went for depth pain. Oof. And there's no heartbreak on the board. It's time for a face-off. I need two players down in front. All right, a round three. Here time. we go. We're upping the ante again. All questions are now worth triple. Triple, baby! We asked 100 people. Name something everyone tries to get out of. You buzzed in first. Oh, I, I think I'm buzzing at the same time as her. But, come on, we all know the number one que the answer is work. Right? Good nice. Yeah. Nice. I want to see that answer. Work. Number two, really? It's up there, but it's not the top answer. Oh, Justin Bucca says the jury duty. Is still up there. That might be the number one answer, Justin Bucca. I'm going to go with that, jury duty. Nice. Tell answer you what, you seven. automatically get out of jury duty if you're not an Let's American. Speaking answer. for experience. <laughs> jury duty. Oh, well done, Justin. You know what, Justin Bucca? Just for that, you get your very own personal winner train. Okay. Let's play. We need another answer from you. Name something everyone who tries to get out of. Um, kids birthday parties. How about parties? Oh, parking ticket is a good one. Let's go with that. Got it. Is it up there? Traffic ticket. Traffic ticket number six. Good work. Oh. 
What do you think? We need another answer. Yeah? How about a... A date? A date with like a... a, a, a um, okay, sure. I don't know. An Did ugly person? I'm, I feel bad for saying that. Date. A date. Nope, no date. It's not on the board, so you've earned your first strike of this round. Oof. Um, how about working out? Put on your thinking cap. It's time Name something everyone answer. tries to get out of working out. Exercising. Yeah. I see where you're going with this. There aren't many answers left. Is it there? Exercise. No. Two strikes. Our other family Two strikes. Three, two, three answers left. And wish. Get out of alive. work. Get what out of think? um. Oh, traffic. Traffic. Although I don't know, Are you sure about that's that? that's very situational, right? I, 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 I'm, I'm not actually very sure about that. Like Trapping. McCoy, I don't think it's up there anymore. Yeah. Oh no, that's strike three. Oh, it's time for the other team to have a crack at this. Let's well, see. Will they win if they get the points? I don't think board, so, right? I don't think around. there's more than 245 points on the board. If it's up there, you steal the points. If not, they go to the other family. This is a tough one, unless they can come up with a good answer. That's a good answer. Oh, That's good. Dap again. Did this has been twice agree? in a row now. Dap is Dap. good. Yep. That is... Oh, my God. That's not the one. Dude. Dap, I, thought, I thought Dap would be up there. And we got ourselves a winner. Let's are see what number see five, four, and three are. For number five, lies. Get out of lies. Chores. Oh yeah, chores. Yep. Let's yep. see number three. Trouble. Get out of trouble. I'm like the Taylor the Swift song. Breezy, breezy, thirty ninety three. Welcome back. Welcome back. You're busy watching, uh, you're busy finishing you on Netflix and hope you could uh, still catch my live stream. And I am still live for another, um, 40 minutes or so. Which means, honestly, it feels like it's probably one, one more game. I think, like, a full game takes about 30 minutes, so I think we're gonna play one more game tonight. And then that's the night, so there you go. You can still catch a full game. You can still catch a full game. Just the captains will play this round. And then I'll be watching the finale for Only Murders in a Building tonight. What a good show. I highly recommend it. If you guys love murder mystery, if you guys love comedy, combine them both with Steve Martin and Martin uh, Short and Selena Gomez. Great show. Great show. That's on Hulu. Ready? Start the clock. All right, here we go. Name something you keep within reach when watching television. Uh, the remote? Name something to help you through a lonely night. <laughs> oh, my left hand. Nope, nope, can't say that. Uh, you, um, uh, this is TV? Yeah, name TV, why not? Most people clean at least once a day. Uh, name something most people clean at least once a day. Once a day? Uh, your toothbrush. There we go. I can't spell toothbrush, huh? By Shakespeare. Hamlet. Name a place where a cheap date would take you. <laughs> McDonald's. I love this question. McDonald Islander. What? A fast food place? How about that? Fast food. That's everything. <laughs> It's time to switch over and see how the other family does. Let's see how Jeremy does. You'll answer the same five questions. 
but you cannot duplicate any answers we've had. If you do, you'll have to give it another guess. The clock's all set. Let's go. Name something you keep within reach when watching television. I mean, a remote has got to be number one, right? We already had that answer. Yeah. Like drinks, water, snacks, any of those answers. Name something to help you through a lonely night. Name something to help you through a lonely night. A warm blanket. Should have gone with that, a warm blanket. It's in half the time left. Name something most people oh. <laughs> use Dude, I know he answered pillow. I don't know why that made me laugh so hard. A pillow. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Name a play written by Shakespeare. Name a play written by Shakespeare. Which play is he going for? Name a place. Yeah, where Romeo and Juliet. Let's go on. Take you. I don't actually know the answer to this because I'm on a cheap date. We're all questioned out. A buffet. Well, no, okay. dude. I want to be taken out to a We're Brazilian done. buffet. Are you kidding me? All right, it's time to see how things turn out. A buffet out is not a chip date, dude. Have you, got, have, have you guys ever gone to Fogo de Chao? Oh my god. It's like a Brazilian buffet and they come to you with like meat on sticks First and you just up, cut it fresh you tell us for you. It was so name good. Something you keep within expensive though. When Very expensive. Television. So you said... That's two strong answers right there. Survey says... Yeah, oh, 70 points. Yes, please. Thank you very much. question, we asked... Name something to help you through a lonely night. I, w I genuinely wonder what the top one, answer to this was. You ought to be happy with those answers. TV oh, was the top answer. Already. 34, okay. Next up, we asked... Name something most people clean at least once a day. This is how you answered. Let's see what the survey says. Face said. is what he answered. Okay. A good answer and a what is the top answer? answer? I, I have had a hard time thinking about this. What do you think the top answer was? Teeth. Oh, Number come one. on. I was in a... Come on. Name a play written by... I was on the right track there with toothbrush. I was thinking like a physical thing that you have to clean. Well, I guess good, teeth is a physical they? thing. Oh. Romeo and Juliet, no. way higher than Hamlet. Holy cow. Your last question. Is it gonna be able Name to catch up? Where a cheap date would take you. Oh, with a buffet answer? I don't think so. I don't think he'll be able to catch up with so, your buffet. Feeling tense? You should be. Everything is riding on these answers. No Fast food, seven, seven, seven six, and we got a full freaking a solid whole two hundred points. It's our winning family. Winner. Winner. Winner, winner, winner. Winner, winner, winner. winner chicken dinner. One from Fast Money with your score from the main game. And we'll add another zero to the end of it. Boom. What? What? We'll see you next time, folks, on the feud. Good night. Good night, Lucky McCoy. Okay, I think we're gonna play one more game. What do you say? Want to go again? I would go against uh, the Jeremy family again All if they right. would like Let's to. Do this again. They, they do. They, they would like to play again. So let's go. And here we go. Let's ring the one last game bell. The one last game. Right? Because a game takes about like 30 minutes, right? It's like a real show. So that will bring us to like about close to 9 p.m. So yeah, Lucky this will be like the last game. Let's remind ourselves who's playing. It's the Dave and John family versus the Jimmy family. I should have waited and said it here. Looking to settle the score. Let's just assume these are Jeremy and Kat. Who knows? You Maybe know they are. By now. Answer our surveys and try to guess the most popular answer. Okay, folks, here we go. Let's 
let's play another game. One person from each team. Come down and join me here at the front. You know, I get, I get why Family Feud, the TV show, go into those questions, the We've kind of questions where they hit, um, lead you into innuendo answers. Alrighty it's so much there. more fun. Name something <laughs> to keep you uh, on a lonely Wonder night. That's a great question right there. Question. Name something you hope is on time, but rarely it. You're up. Oh, I, come on. My first instinct was like the train, especially LA train, dude. The metro in LA. It's never on time. Great answer. The bus, That's your yes. Answer. Do we the have bus right or answer? subway, it's kind of like the top two answers, honestly. Bus. I just don't know which one switch. Oh, huh. You found a good answer, but it's not the best answer. Do you have an answer for us? Well, the metro is kind of part of public transport, right? So I don't think I want to go. I don't want to go with that route, I think. Name something you hope is on time, but rarely is about tax returns. Good that's that's the Got second it. thing that I can think of. Tax refund, yeah. Survey said. Tax refund. Does he want the money back? Uh, no. <laughs> yep. No. That's not up there. No. Sorry. Play or pass. Well, that's Jeremy play, yeah. Come on, you don't have to take forever to think if you want to play or pass. I've never seen anyone take this so long before to, to determine whether they want to play or pass. They're gonna run out of time here. They're really deliberating that hard. Just to think if they want to play or pass. Okay, 27 seconds to, to say that um they want to play. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Looks like it's your turn. I mean, I'm still gonna go with Metro. Nice. Or the uh, Subway, you know. Right. Oh, Package is a good one. Is it up there? Show me. Mail. Mail, yep. We've got a right answer, but it's not at the top. Mm, it's not, that's right. You got anything for us? Still don't have the top two answers yet. How about an airplane? Of an airplane is not really considered a public transport, right? Food? Yeah, like food delivery? Oh, I can see food delivery. Yeah. Food. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's okay. Nice. Yeah, that's nice, I guess. Nice. Got an answer for me? Oh. Understood. <laughs> what? Yourself? What survey says. Yourself. That that is d That's dark. So here's well, I'm not strike. really entirely sure what she's going for with your, yourself. Is she talking about like her period? Maybe because it's not. It's not, it's not it's, um, I really hope that's not true. Flight or Uber? That's yeah. Plane. That's there we go. Yep. Do we have it? Plane. We, we we you guys think you guys you guys think That's subway subways of part of public transport, right? Because hey. if not, I I think it might what still be up there, but I think they might be clumped together with public transport. Where it says for sure subway is public transport. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. 
Or paycheck. No, paycheck is pretty on time. Name something you hope is on time, but rarely is. Cab? Yeah, cab, Uber, taxi. Let's see if you're right. Uh-oh, two strikes. Our other family better get ready. I wonder what it is, friends? Have you got some feud for thought? Yeah, friends. I'm I'm actually in a, in a, in the group of friends. I'm actually the the one that's always late. <laughs> uh fr I can't see friends. I would love a, uh, I would love a stronger answer, but I can't really think of a stronger answer than that. Okay. Newspaper. What is this? The 1980s? Let's see if the board's got it. Newspaper. No. Yeah. There we go. That's three. There's Flight mail. Public transport. Food. All we need is one answer, and this family can steal around. Name something Name you hope, something is, on you hope time, is on time, but rarely, but rarely is. is. <laughs> Justin Baca says me for number two. How dare you, Justin? Uh, um, friends? Do I want to go with friends? Can I think of a better answer than friends? Name something you hope is on time, but rarely is. Birthday? Like, literal little birthday? Got 30 seconds to think here. Movies? Well, there's 20 minutes of trailers. Um, I can't, I can't really think of anything. I, I mean, you know, I I like thinking verbally out loud, but I there's just nothing popping into my head right now. Should we go with friends? We'll go with friends. Yep. Interesting. Because nothing, nothing comes up in my head. So Blank. Yay! Burn it to ground, yes, number seven. Burn it to ground for that. Give you a personal winner train for ya. Thank you so much, Burn it to ground. Now it's time to see what you missed. Let's see. Number six. Number six. Medical appointment. That is actually very true. Yeah. Family. Wow, okay. Time to show yourself. Money. Show me those scores. So, tax refunds. I'm not gonna say who I'm rooting for, but they're kind of like are... tax refunds. Tax refunds should have been. I should have gotten that. Should have gotten that money. It's time for the face-off. I want two contestants to come and play. We want six answers. Get ready to buzz in when you have an answer. In our survey, we asked 100 people, name something that can cause a lot of damage to a home. You're in a tornado. We have an answer. Earthquake, volcanic and eruptions, a burglar. Says, Can name them all. Let me name them all. Lucky Bakoy. Number three? Really? Oh, fire. Oh, so yeah, you fire might be number answer. one, actually. You're right. Let's see what she's gonna answer here. All right, let's try it. A hurricane and a tornado is the let's same thing, dude. Good answer. Hurricane. Oh, it's not. Good try. Ah. But it doesn't beat what's already up there. I mean, I'm glad it's lower, but I'm are surprised that right Family Feud did not clump, like did not clump those two two together. Um, that's very surprising you for want Family this Feud. Round all to yourself, huh? I think I can get a clean sweep for this run, Lucky McCoy. You can do it. What do you think? 
Maybe. Let's go with fire, Justin Buck. I think this fire might actually be number one. Yeah. That's what you think, huh? Is it on the board? Fire. Well done, Justin Buck. Well done. Awesome. Awesome indeed. What answer do you have for us this time? Uh -huh. Earthquake. Living in Indonesia? Oh, okay. Dude, I experienced so much so so many earthquakes. Earthquake. No damage to my homes though. Oh, really? Oh, sorry, it wasn't up there. Damn. I'm gonna have to give you your first strike. Uh. How about a um I guess earthquakes are not that common in the US. That's not actually very true, is it? How about a flooding? Flood will actually is more common, maybe? Yep. What did our survey say? We got fire, maybe flood, water now. Flood, flood. yep. Good job, buddy. Yeah, you know what? Actually, earthquake is not that common in the in, in the US because when you get a renter's insurance, or renter's insurance do not cover earthquake. You gotta get a separate earthquake insurance for for California if you live in California, actually. Um. How about a burglar? Like a home invasion type thing? Said with confidence. Thanos' army. <laughs> we've got left? The multiverse? Burglar. Why not, right? No. Ouch! That's your second strike. I thought I could clean sweep this, but um not having earthquake up there. Let's hope you pretty surprising, isn't it? Yet. Oh, how about a how about a how about a falling tree? I mean, I'm, I I know it's not suggested up there, but I think my answer is confident enough. Falling tree. Sure thing. That can do a lot of damage to home. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Nope. And that's three strikes. Yeah. Ho ho. Like my friend Al Capone used to say, our other family has a chance to steal. Who voiced Lucky McCoy? Let's Google that real board. quick. Who well, voiced Lucky McCoy this on is up Family there, You take the feud. points for this round. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where Lucky McCoy. I don't know answer. who. I don't know who that is. Termites. You know the score. Termites. Oh. You win this round. What was that one last elusive answer? The sixth answer. Termites is a good answer. Children. <laughs> <laughs> Children. It's That's funny. That's scores. funny. We've got ourselves yeah, I can't find an answer leader. for who voiced Lucky McCoy. So, um, whoever you are, Lucky McCoy out there, hope you had a lot of fun voicing him. Are you ready for a face-off? Who wants to play? Get over here. Termites and children, huh? Wow. We have four to find on this one. All right, let's sweep. Breezy the was about to gonna say um, termites. For this question have been doubled. But then they were like, Nah, how common is that? It's apparently pretty common. It's pretty, yeah. Oh shoot! Just rude. Only kidding. So you think you've got this one, sport? I accidentally pressed the button. And it says, name something. Name something, everyone. How about a car? Because it asks for name something. Let's go for a car. Okie dokie. Time to check the board. Car. Nope. Oh, dear. 
Let's see if we can get something on the board. Go to answer Dustin Buck. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Name something specific that a magician makes this appear. A car? It's actually a valid answer. Though I probably should have gone with the other suggested answer, which is the cards. Cards would probably be the uh, top it's answer. Car I know, card is not answer? a terrible answer, right? Rabbit. Wow. Wow, that's the way to answer. I don't think the magicians you? these days do 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 that yes. trick anymore. Disappear disappearing uh, rabbits can't do that in 2021. Let's see if the rest of your team can keep things. Oh, going. they're playing. I think they might clean sweep this. Because I think cards is up there. Do you have How about answer? a thumb? Right. Thumb. No, oh, I can't do it that way. I gotta do it. Feeling lucky? Am I not doing the trick right? I'm doing and the trick correctly. Like that, saying. right? There we go. That's what it is. Dove. Like, whoa, my thumb. Whoa. There we go. And now it's your guess. Uh. I missed what they answered, but they got that, got they got it on the board. I have a feeling they might have gotten this question very recently, and they know what all four answers are. But that's just the nature of the game. Can't really have anything to do with that. Uh, yes. A Our coin, a disappearing says... coin. coin. We're Number two there. has to be cards. Oh. I don't know if they're gonna get that though. They still have three strikes right, left. Right. They, I think they will. Okay. I think they will. I don't think they're gonna go into the bonus round yet. Handkerchief. And is that the answer we need? Handkerchief. Really? I was like, that's a very oh, specific sorry. answer. You've earned yourself a but I don't strike. think that's the right answer. She looked very confident answering that. What do you think? Yeah. Alright, Jeremy, what do you think? What do you think, Jeremy? Car okay, yep. Then. They got it. They they got it. That's a clean, clean sweep right there. Let's find out. Cards. Oh, really? Oh. Other family? I'd be getting ready if I were you. Huh. Whoops. One more strike and you're in trouble. So... Oh, interesting cuz I thought it, it's for sure going to be number 2. Name something specific that a magician makes disappear. So I got two answer options here. And you guys let me know which one's the better answer is. Is it A, themselves, or B, their assistant? Right? A human. A human being. Or I can just go human being. Though I don't know if that's specific enough. Nice. It's almost like they, Time to find they out know what I'm there. saying on the stream here. Person. Yeah. And that board is clear. You know what? I'm gonna lie, it's a bit sus. You're but I'll allow it. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the points up in the next round here. Which family is leading the way? Let's find out. That lead's looking solid now. Nowhere near as painful as it sounds. It's the face-off. The last face-off. Here we go. From each family, join me, please. I can't remember if we're, if this is the last fight face-off or if no one gets to three hundred. It's the sudden death. I think this might just be the last face-off. I think. Five to find for this one. Five to find. Point values are tripled now, so it's still anybody's game. We took a survey of one hundred people, asking them. Name something many people postpone doing for as long as possible. Think you got something? Oh, this is... Uh, doing taxes. I don't know why I have taxes on my mind, man. I've done my taxes. IRS, if you're watching this, I've done my taxes last year.
I, I don't know if it's up there. I don't think it's up there. That's, that's such a boring answer. Could it be up there? Let's find out. It has to. Pay oh! Pay number one. Yes. You want to play? I mean, Texas is. It's not really paying off that, is it? We are but over I'll, here. I'll take that. I guess it depends. If you have, if are you, you owe taxes, I mean, then I guess you're playing you. off that. Um... Homework. Justin Bucket says homework. I like that answer a lot. Let's go with homework. Got it. The survey says homework. No. Strike one. I think they surveyed 100 adults who don't have any homework anymore. Uh, how about how about this? I did this a couple weeks uh, for a couple weeks. Uh, I post one doing my laundry. Laundry. Okay, sure. Exercising. Exercising is a good answer too. the survey say this? Laundry. Housework. Okay. Cool. Time to search your mind for an answer. Uh... Exercising. I'll take your answer, Breezy. You Let's see if you, if you got it. Is it there? Exercise. Diet. That's a good one. Diet. There we go. Oh? Two answers remain. How about a... I was gonna say cleaning up, but that's part of housework. Um, getting married? Getting married? Get mortgage? Are you sure about that? Having kids, actually. That Not really getting married, is it? For? Having kids. Getting married. Oh, beautiful board. Almost full. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if having kids is the I mean Name having kids is such a, a divisive issue, right? Some Personal people want to postpone it as doing like as long as possible, and some people like really want it so soon. So I don't know which crowd um this family uh, feud survey is, but uh let's let's try it. Let's try it. Let's That's try having good. kids. Is that the final answer? Having kids. No. Strike two. Oh. Okay, people. Let's be careful here. You can still do it. Oh, snap. So one, one of the strike. suggested answers that popped up was getting a mortgage. A yeah. That's a weak answer, right? That, that shouldn't be out there. Name something many people postpone doing for as long as possible. What have I been what have I been postponed doing? Um just personally in life. What have I been doing postponing doing? Cole Galleon, welcome back, Cole. Welcome back. Um I taxes is my first answer. And um they clumped it with pay off that. So that was the top answer. But welcome, Cole. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by, man. We need is one right answer, and this family can steal the points. Oh, that was my third strike. Dang it. Should have answered something. Couldn't think of anything, though. I wonder if Jeremy... Not Jeremy Dooley, but this Jeremy family... Knows the answer to this. I can't even think of anything else. Name something that many people postpone doing for as long as possible. Vacation? Because they want to rack up those PTO hours? That's dumb. Don't do that. Use your PTO hours. Um, moving? It's not really strong. They're, ha they're having... They're having an answer. They're, 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 they're taking a long time, too. They don't know an answer here.
They do not have an answer. Yes. Got your tongue? Taking out trash. I think that that's kind of part of housework. Breezy says I postpone getting out of the bed every every day. <laughs> Oh, well, doctor's appointment is so answer, good. That's, you that's know what? Funny I think number three might be dentist. Dentist Wanna appointments. See number three? Sounds like me and divorce cards. Uh. Oh, Lucky McCoy with the horrible jokes. Medical, Medical care. care! Breezy, look at that! Doctor appointments, dentist appointments. Doing? Let's see. We could have got it in. Four we could have got it down in. And we still don't have a winner. Looks like we're gonna need to do one more. Ooh, round. the first sudden death of tonight, guys. The first sudden death of tonight. After that round, nobody has reached 300 points. We got to decide this game. Batten down the hatches. It's time for a sudden Music intens death. intensifies. That's right, Bernard. The All music. Right. Give me two I think the music doesn't intensify, though. Also, I think I'm saying that word wrong. Here we go. Sudden death. We're Is it just top one? Top yep, answer. it's just the top one answer. For this survey, we're asking for the top answer only. Points are tripled. Whoever gets this answer wins the round. We asked 100 people to give us an answer to this. Give me a word for someone who isn't neat. In like a flash. A slob. Right? That's the first thing that popped into my mind. But we have 20 seconds to think of an answer here. The first thing that popped into my mind was slob. A piggy. That also another. That's also another word. Who is a neat? Oh, I think I'm gonna go with this. I think slob is a good answer. That's your answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Let's see if it's there. Crossing my fingers. Yes. 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 Winner train. Is getting to go that was that was literally just money. having just, just me having this buzzing buzzing it on time there. All right, but the game is not over yet. We still have to go um, through fast money here. Think fast because you're about to play fast money. It's time for the team captains to take the stage. In this round, you need to answer five surveys against the clock. You go first. All right, can we get three out of three out wins tonight? The same five questions. Whoever comes up with the best answers takes home the big bucks. The clock starts I hope we now. can. Name a place you feel better leaving than going. Oh, God, I'm a pass Name for that. A paramedic might use to help save someone's life. It's the it's the thingy. It's the clear. Bzz, bzz, I, I don't know what it's called. Name I'm not pass for that. A patient hopes is extra clean. A bed. Name something that may be too hot to touch. A, a, a pan. A, a an oven. A pan. Yeah, I'm gonna go with pants. What part of your body is always cold? M my hands? Oh, oh I'm, I'm having troubles with this set of Name questions. Oh my god, this is so hard. Leaving than going. A mental health hospital. I'm, I don't, I don't know. Name a place you be you feel better leaving than going. I'm gonna pass because Breezy just told me that thing that I was thinking about is the defibrillator, and I think that's a good one. Defibrillator. There we go. Name a place you feel better leaving than going. Bernard says bathroom, which is good. I don't think it's a top answer though, is it? I mean, I don't have time, so let's just go bathroom. A bad movie. No, That's bathroom. Burn it to the ground. I'm gonna trust you now on that bathroom because I generally couldn't think of anything the there. Now it's your turn. You'll be answering oh, I bet you question. church is probably going to be the top answer, right? Anything that's already been said, because if you do, you'll have to make another guess. Okay, start the clock. 
Name a place you feel better leaving than going. Reese says doctor or dentist. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. It's a bit, if it's a bit of a hit or miss, I feel like. But a doctor and a dentist, sometimes you feel better. Sometimes you just feel like, ugh. And then you get the bill and we're like, oh my god. You don't, No, you definitely do not feel better. After going to the dentist or the doctor. Because you see the bill and you'll be like, I do not want to come here anymore. Um, what is this guy doing? This guy's just taking forever to answer. Maybe this guy doesn't know it's his turn. Which means we're going to get the automatic win, but, you know. Or he's just going to think of an answer here. Who knows? Because this is a tough one. It could have passed, though. Yep, nope, that's time's up. That's time. And we're gonna win. We're gonna win. That's all the answers you can give. Well done. Let's see how y'all did. But let's see how well we did, because I I I don't know what a couple of our answers here. For our first question, we asked Name a place you feel better leaving than going. These were your answers. You couldn't conjure up an answer to this one. Five. Five for, five for bathroom. Hey, at least what? we got some points. That's right. That was our top Work? Answer. Question two. Oh, yeah, that makes Name sense, huh? That makes a lot of sense. You feel better life. leaving work than you going said. to work. That's That makes and a lot of sense. Our survey said... Come on, this has to be number, to yes, number one. There we go. Number yep. One answer. That's the top All right, answer. For the third question, we asked, name something in a hospital a patient hopes is extra clean. So here's what you said. If it's not bad, the other thing Did should be syringe. This is just gross. There the we go. Answer. Oh, yeah. The next question, name something that may be too hot to touch. Here's what you said. And our survey said, Nine? Outside, one of those answers was good. Is this stove? Oven. Oven. Yep. That would have yeah. been the best answer. I actually burned myself. The final thing we touching an oven was what somewhere. Part there of we your go. Body is always cold. There's a mark right there. That's a burn this mark. This is what you said. It's the final question. What did our survey say? Whoa. Now that's what I call. Fourteen for hands. What ears? Is it ears? Oh, I didn't find any top answer for that. That's a win. Whatever, we got it. We got it. We got the win. We got the win. We got the win, win y'all. And the earlier rounds, we've multiplied them by three ten and games, three wins tonight. I feel good. I feel good. Wow, thank you, Owen Wilson.